Hello and welcome to this low-level JavaScript mini-series all about the bits and bytes of binary. Numbers are only as good as the operations that we can perform on them. And while the bitwise operations that we saw earlier in this series, AND, OR, XOR, and NOT, are all very useful, they are in fact the basis of everything that a computer is capable of doing, operations that act on an entire number, things like addition, are really what makes a number system useful. Addition in binary works pretty much the same way that you probably learned in school. You have two numbers, and we add the number at each place, going from right to left. And if the outcome is larger than the column can hold, larger than one in this case, then we carry the larger part of the result to the next column. We can formalize this process of carrying by always having a carry bit, but starting it out at zero. So we are now essentially always adding three numbers together. Now, it's possible that when we add two binary numbers, that there is something left in the carry bit at the end. And this is known as overflow. And that can be a problem if you expect the result of your addition to fit inside a fixed number of bits, since that carry bit will simply disappear and you will not have the expected result of your addition. To make sure that we can handle this problem in our own implementation, we will always return the new binary number with the carry bit included. So when we're adding two four-bit binary numbers, the result will always be a five-bit binary number. Let's implement this process in our binary class. We're actually going to do this the way that real computers do it, with logical operations which is a formalized version of the process that we just looked at. We'll have an add method, taking another binary, and performing the usual assertions. Then we can create a mutable variable called carry bit, which will start at zero. The new bits will be the result of combine mapping the two bit arrays, but we'll actually have to do these in reverse because we need to start adding the least significant bits first so that the carry propagates upward. Unfortunately, array.reverse in JavaScript mutates its inputs, and we would like to preserve those two bit arrays, so let's write a utility function first called reverse. All reverse is going to do is take an array and spreads out that array into a new array and call reverse on that. That allows us to preserve that original array. Now we can return a call to combine map reversing the two binary bit arrays and use a transformation function that receives each bit of both numbers. Now, the way that addition works at the logical level has to be explained in two steps. Firstly, there's something called a half adder, which can add two single bits together and is made up of an AND gate and an XOR gate. The two bits are fed into the XOR gate and this defines the output of the sum. If either is a one and the other is a zero, the output is a one, which is correct for addition. If both are zero, then the output is zero, which is also correct. And finally, if both of the inputs are a one, the output is a zero, since this is exclusive or. But that's also correct because two bits with a value of one would imply that we need to carry the result to the next column. So this also works correctly. So then the AND gate determines the value of the carry bit. Since it's an AND gate, we're saying that the output will only be a one if both of the inputs are a one, which is also when we would carry. So that's a half adder that can add two bits together, but we need to be able to add whatever the last carry bit was as well. In other words, we need to add three bits together. And the way that we do this is by chaining together two half adders. 
So first adding the two inputs A and B together and getting a sum and a carry bit out. And then bringing the existing carry bit and feeding that into another half adder using the sum of A and B as the other input. The sum that we get out on the other side of this is the final sum of the bits. And we can determine the final carry bit by feeding the two carry bits that we got out of each of those half adders into an OR gate. Translating this into JavaScript is quite straightforward. We'll get AB sum by XORing A and B. And we can get AB carry by ANDing A and B. This is our first half adder. Then we can get AB sum plus carry by XORing the AB sum with the carry bit. The AB sum carry is the result of ANDing AB sum and the original carry bit. This is our second half adder. And now the new carry bit is AB carry or AB sum carry. In the end, we can just return AB sum plus carry as our final output. At the end of the add method, we need to return a new binary where the first bit in the array is the carry bit and the rest is the result of spreading out and reversing the new bits. And remember that we need to reverse the bits because we reversed the input bits when we actually performed this addition. You could make this whole operation more efficient with a for loop that iterates backwards and inserts new bits from the other end. And if you're following along with this series, you might want to try that out yourself. Let's try to add two binary numbers together. A will be seven, which is the three bit binary number 111 and B will be 6, which is the 3-bit binary number 110. Then we will log out the result of A add B, and we see that we get 1101, which is of course now a 4-bit binary number, and that represents the number 13. So this is correct for 7 plus 6. To recap, Addition in binary works basically the same way that you learned at school with decimal. This process can be encoded in the logical operations using AND, OR, and XOR gates. And when we get a binary number with n bits, we're going to get a new binary number with n plus 1 bits. Otherwise, we're risking accidentally overflowing our calculation. <laughs>